This video shows how symbolic names are created for the I.O. signal modules and how they're used. With the automation system selected, right-click the hardware object to the right. Then select Open Object. This video shows how symbolic names are created for the I.O. signal modules and how they're used. With the automation system selected, right-click the hardware object to the right. Then select Open Object. This opens Hardware Config. Select the ET200M station. This shows the I.O. signal modules at the bottom. Right-click and select Edit Symbols. From here, you can create or use existing symbolic names to represent an I.O. address. To create a symbolic reference for Address 2.0, select the Symbolic Entry box to the right. Now enter a symbolic name. This example is using Switch 2.0. The Data Type field is automatically filled in when you select another entry field. For this example, we'll also enter the symbolic name Switch 2.1 for Address 2.1. The Data Type will also be filled in when you select another entry field. We can also automatically create symbolic names for all unconfigured addresses by clicking the Add to Symbols button. This automatically creates symbolic names, with the first part being the data type identifier, such as I for input discrete, IW for input word, and QW for output word. The second part is the I.O. address, such as our example of 2.0 and 2.1. Close the editor when finished. Save and compile, then close Hardware Config. To use these symbolic names, we'll select and expand the Automation System, then select the Charts folder. For this example, there is an existing continuous function chart, or CFC, called Symbolic Test. Right-click and select Open Object to open this CFC. To use the symbolic names, right-click the first input of the block. Select Enter Connection to Address and type in the symbolic name just created called Switch 2.0. Double-click the symbolic name in the below list. This brings it back to the CFC. Repeat these steps for the second input. This time, however, just type the S at the top and then browse for the symbolic name Switch 2.1 in the displayed list. Double-click the symbolic name, Switch 2.1, to bring it back to the CFC. You can see that symbolic names and their associated I.O. addresses are displayed in the margin to the left. Compile, Download, and switch to Test Mode to display live data. The physical inputs connected to the signal module can now be turned on and off for testing. Turning the input connected to switch 2.0 will show as a 1 on the first input of the block. Turning the input connected to switch 2.1 will show as a 1 on the second input of the block. Because the block they're connected to has an AND function, the output of the block shows 1 as well. Let's turn test mode off. 
Enclose the CFC editor.